Ayer's main investors are in talks that could see a majority stake in the business sold to a foreign telecoms company. While the current core shareholders retain significant holdings, the Irish Independent understands. Ayer's main investors are in talks that could see a majority stake in the business sold to a foreign telecoms company. While the current core shareholders retain significant holdings, the Irish Independent understands. Majority stake up for grabs as Ayer back on the market Ayer yesterday confirmed that its major shareholders had informed the company that they have been approached by a potential investor who may wish to make a significant investment in Ayer alongside them. It is relatively unusual for shareholders, rather than company management or the board of directors, to be approached by an outside bidder, especially in the case of a sale to a trade buyer. Ayer's biggest shareholders are private equity funds Anchorage Capital, 42 PC, and Davidson Kempner Capital, 14 PC, and Singapore's sovereign wealth fund, GIC. That cohort of financial backers gradually emerged as anchor investors as private equity giant Blackstone and other funds sold off shares they picked up when the company collapsed into insolvency in 2012. Around 24 PC of the company is still owned by a mix of finance houses including former lenders. It is not clear if the new investor will offer to mop up those small stakes as part of its approach. A 1.29 billion euro equity valuation was placed by IR on the company last year, but shareholders could demand a premium to cede majority control to an outsider. In 2014, two years after re-emerging from insolvency, Ayer's then-owners struggled to find a trade buyer for the business and pulled a planned stock market flotation, having failed to convince the markets that their own valuations for the business were warranted. The company has churned through a series of owners in the public and private markets since it was privatized almost 20 years ago. The wider Irish recovery and Ayer's own return to sustained profit means it is now more attractive to a wider potential investor base including trade buyers. Last year GIC, Singapore's sovereign wealth fund, bought a 16 PC stake in Ayer for 230 million euros. It already has ready access to the debt markets, so new investment will provide an exit or partial exit for shareholders. Releasing full-year results this week, Ayer said that its earnings before interest, tax, depreciation and amortization, EBITDA, rose 4 PC to 520 million euros in the 12 months to the end of June, while underlying revenue was 1 PC higher at 1.32 billion euros. Over the past five years, Ayer has cut its headcount by 2,200 to 3,279 and cut its operating cost base by over 148 million euros a year. The former semi-state company has witnessed a sharp improvement in its fortunes since it exited examinership, with rationalization, investment and a recovering economy helping to revive the business. IRE yesterday announced a partnership to screen shows by subscription based on demand reality TV channel Hey One Mobile.